Hey, the Brain Master here, and it's going to be my Kokoro Connect Episode 3 review. A great episode here today. I, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, I, like, Kiriyama, Yui, she, she had a she had something bad happen to her, but I, it's, just, it's interesting. It, it makes sense. It's just how everything was going on. I really, really enjoyed this episode here. And it seemed like Taichi is going to be the, the Kira walk here for everyone to get over their uh, their fears, I guess, or something. I don't know, I'm just saying that. But, yeah, this is a good episode here. Basically, what we see is from what we from where we left off was when um, Himiko said uh, he, he when, when he was in Taiki's body when she was in Taiki's body she was like oh I love Lori and so I'm not your competition and so that made uh, Fushima like okay then this is very interesting let's see what happens now okay all right then. and so that's where we left off and so basically Taiki's like why you do that what's what, what possessed you to say that like I don't understand and apparently hit her. Uh, agenda for all this was that, to hook them up basically and because Lori is like in trouble she's she's the worst when it comes to this whole body switching thing is really it's really affecting her and, and she or seem or she may it may seem like that to her anyways that is affecting her quite a bit and so she's having trouble with that so she was trying to figure out a way to help her and seeing how Taichi is Taichi always helps people out all the time it isn't she, he always put um, the other others need before his basically he always help his friends out and do what he do do he has to basically he like when he's doing a reference for, for like wrestling and stuff like he always liked to job because they got to endure all this stuff and you know it, it was funny because I, I, I watched wrestling so I was like you, you go for the you go for the jobbers that they get their butts whooped freaking I, 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 didn't, I didn't understand I understand that freaking I, I was like really you, you go you go you, you, you shoot the jobbers I mean, I could see you going for the mid carters or something to make them go bigger. I, I mean, jobbers really? Like, I don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. See, see, I got the wrestling thing. But uh, <laughs> yeah. So basically, you know, he always goes for underdogs. He always tries to help out the best he can. So she thought, well, you can help out Lori in this in this um fashion because she needs help. She needs someone to lean on, and so that's why she chose Tai Chi to do it. And so that's what the whole conversation they had while they're um, doing the whole pickup duty because that's what they um, volunteered for. And so, um, as that's all going on, we end up seeing uh, a, a backstory for Aoki. Um, apparently, we're, we're, I'm just gonna go jump right into this. Aoki, not an Aoki. Uh, we know, you know, we end up seeing like a, a stupid body switch with Aoki and Taichi with Himiko and Yui. And so, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was dumb. They're they're playing around and everything like that. But we end up seeing the character development for Yui Kiriyama. Uh, Kiriyama apparently is afraid of men. She, she's afraid of men. And how, why she's afraid of men is because and she told Taichi this because Taichi wanted to know why um, she was like a, like afraid or like something was wrong because they had this little conversation going on in the classroom and she just she don't there's, there's a reason why she doesn't touch anyone or tries to just be mean around men because the thing is she almost got raped by uh, by some guy and she was barely able to get away and the thing is she um, goes to karate classes and all this other stuff she thought she'd be way prepared to be able to fight a man off but when that time actually happened she was like oh crap it's like if she barely got away so it shows that even with all her our all our credentials with her um you know martial arts and stuff she just it just it wasn't a, it wasn't quite enough you know she wants she wants to be able to overpower him but the thing is men are more are, are stronger than women so she figured that out she just she's so timid around men at this point that she don't know what to do and she don't want to be like this she doesn't want to be afraid around men but she can't help herself because it's just that it's just that scared of her I'm scary for her, and so Taiki hears all this. They're um, body, they're body switch, by the way, because he ends up seeing that she was um, crying for some reason, and she just felt bad because you know, from from the conversation that they had, that they might not have as much fun anymore because they know why she feels like that now. But Taiki's like, okay, then there's gonna I'm gonna show you one way, in the the basically the only way right now to stop a man. Like this is this is a gr the greatest thing, and, and but I guess, again, he was in. Kiriyama's body, Taichi and, and Kiriyama was in Taichi's body. So what he's about to do was gonna, was a backfire, but nonetheless, it was something that she needs to know. So basically, he told um, Taichi or you know uh, Kiriyama to touch um, touch him, and so she did that. And when she did, wha bam, freaking kicking the stuff. So yeah, it, it, the family jewels got crushed right there. <laughs> so yeah, he, he, he did that and basically it showed and she felt the pain because she was in Taichi's body. She felt the pain of how hard, like how much that hurt. She's like, oh, oh, like she, it, it was not good. It really, it really hurt, <laughs> really hurt her. She's like, wow, okay, why'd you do that? 
It's like you see the pain, you see why you know that's that's the number one rule. If you want to get away from a guy, you do that. You know, you do that. <laughs> and so the funny thing is, he ends up switching back in his own body, and he was like, "Oh crap!" Ah, oh. <laughs> she started laughing like, "Wow, well, okay, that's very interesting." So. I, I I had a hurt like that, that can really take someone out. So I, I see I see now, and so that made him made her a little bit more comfortable around men, or at least around Tai Chi, anyways. So because we see at the basically at the end of the episode, she's all very very friendly with him all of a sudden, touching him and stuff. Because usually you don't do that. She doesn't touch it on men, so she actually was touching Tai Chi. She's like, hey Tai Chi, and so she, he's like, hey, he's not doing that. And it's just it was interesting. So she's finally coming like getting over it, and she's gonna go back into martial arts. And doing all that, because I guess the reason why she's going back to martial arts because he said this last night to him. He said, huh, <laughs> she's all like punching and stuff like that. She's like, hmm, I'm going to have to now figure out some new moves to, to try to counteract this stuff now. It was, just, it was like, I think you made a monster. I'm just kidding. You didn't make a monster. But this is, it's just, you, get, you gave her some good self-defense rules. I mean, that's like the number one rule if you want to get away from someone that's trying to, you know, if it's a guy trying to rape you, you know, bam, just, just do that. And if you do it hard enough, I don't give a crap if they got freaking steals or something, you know. That, 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 you know what I mean? Just it it it, it, it worked. It, it worked. I'm just telling you right now. No matter how insensitive they can like how insensitive they can take it, you know, like, if you hit hard enough, it will work. <laughs> so uh yeah, so he she ends up learning a life lesson. That's how the episode is. And so it seems like the next episode, because at the end of the episode we end up seeing Himiko um pass out. Now I don't know what was going on. She was like talking. And she's like, I'm glad that she's actually able to come up like get over it. I, I just I didn't think she was gonna be able to. So it was just you actually did something right. And she's like, uh, I'm like, oh crap, what's going on? And Taichi's she, like, wake up, wake up, what's going on here? And it's in the episode, and it seems like she just passed out. Maybe she's not eating enough, or she's too worried about this stuff. Because the thing is, she was so worried and being stressed out that this body switch can be a bad thing. But the body switch was actually a good thing for Kiriyama. So it actually helped her, in a sense. So I was just like, yeah, so she's like, I guess she's conflicted. And now she, I guess she was too worried about it or something. She seems stressed, and she's just passed out and stuff. So I'm like, what's going to happen next? What is her problem? Because it seems like she's gonna have she has some kind of uh, emotional conflict going on with her as well. So I'm like, what's gonna happen next? I'm looking forward to see what Himiko's gonna do. It seems like Himiko and um, Yuri have some some bad problem. Maybe not Lori, but we gotta see what Lori has and see and see how this all goes. So like I said, this is a very interesting episode, and you know I'm glad Kiriyama can get over this. So yeah, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Like if you like this review and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Girl Connect. So yeah, it's been the Breakmaster, and until then. Breakout.